Ah, there it is. I see it. Mount Hakodate, the symbol of a city. It looks so serene rising up like that out of the calm water. In this episode of Somewhere Street, I'll visit the city of Hakodate, the entryway to Japan's northern island, Hokkaido. Check out those triangular roofs. I bet there's a story behind them. Hakodate was one of the first ports in Japan to be built for international trade. And overlooking it all is towering Mount Hakodate. All right then, today I'll walk toward the mountain. Ooh, the sun's so bright. It's 7.30 in the morning. I guess these are high school students going to school. Where am I? The center of town in front of Hakodate Station. Mount Hakodate is to the west. I think I'll take a little stroll along the shore. Enjoy your day, all you commuters. Huh? What's that coming down the street? Why, it's a tram. Just a single car. How retro. I suppose it's an important means of transportation, but I'd rather walk. Hey, that woman's pushing a wooden box. It can't be a baby carriage. Um, excuse me. Hi. Uh, good morning. Uh, what's that box there? A barrel organ? It's a strange sort of organ. Ah, those dolls on it are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does it make music? Oh, I see. There's a wheel with a handle on the side. It's playing. Hmm, such a sweet sound. And look, it shows a picture while it plays. Kids must love this. What? Hey, the picture changes. And what's this, a night view? Well, thank you so much. Do you play around town? Yes. I see. People must really like it. Yes. Is it a Hakodate thing? Yes, made in Hakodate. Made in Hakodate, huh? Yes. So... This organ was actually made here? Really? <laughs> Hakodate all the way, huh? Thanks so much. It was fun. Hi, thank you.
Bye, Tabiwa. Thank you. Goodbye. A barrel organ brimming with Hakodate charm. What an elegant way to start the day. Hey, what's going on here? Are there shops inside? Hmm, let's take a look. Good morning. Wow. Such big fish. And crabs, too. All kinds of seafood. What a great market. whole salmon. Everything looks so good. Huh? Tourists? What are they looking at? Ah, squid. And you can catch your own? Oh, she's got one. Oh, it's lively. She's having a good time. <laughs> this kind of freshness is a Hakodate specialty. No wonder there are so many tourists. Okay, I've walked along the shore. Hey, look at those brick buildings. They're the ones I saw from the boat coming in. And the morning sunlight is reflecting off the water. <laughs> There's a couple taking a picture. This must be a favorite date spot. Let's see, where's my guidebook? Okay. These brick warehouses were built about 130 years ago by shipping companies. Today, they house retail shops and event facilities. Hmm, cool. The big building on the left used to be a post office. Huh? There's a crowd of people. What is it? A tailgate vendor? It's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Everyone's taking pictures. They're cute. <laughs> Two more up there. And they're enjoying a feast. Great advertising. Hmm. Is that the owner? Uh, hello. Are these your rabbits? <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> what? Peter Rabbit? <laughs> there is a resemblance. Panda Clown. Panda? What a name for a rabbit. Uh, how about the black one? <laughs> All three have names. Uh, so, what are you selling? Wow, what are those? Mushrooms? Oh. All of this is produced in Hakodate? Really? Made in Hakodate? Rabbits, rice, gourds? What kind of peddler are you?
and you just add this other stuff, huh? I hear that this building was once a post office. Oh, really? Uh, a post box? Well, uh, uh, hey, is it okay to leave your goods back there? Ah, over there, yes. Mm-hmm. It's a post box, all right. Has it been there a long time? It's still in use? Even though the post office is gone? You know, you seem to know a lot about this town. 77 years? <laughs> wow. He's watched Hakodate change over the years. You know, for 77, you're looking pretty good. You have a nice face. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your life has been fascinating. Okay, sorry to bother you. Thank you. Life is interesting, eh? <laughs> I'm sure that Hakodate has gone through many changes over the years. It's nice to know there's a man like him around who remembers. Hi there. I'm Little Go Everywhere. I love the cold, but today I'll give you the hottest Hakodate info. Want the inside scoop? No problem! Hakodate is one of Japan's biggest ports. Once called the Gibraltar of the East, it's a beautiful city with a cosmopolitan atmosphere. But do you know how and why it was founded? The founding father of Hakodate Port was a man from Awachi in western Japan named Takadaya Kahe. Kahe was in his 20s at the end of the 18th century when he started a shipping company using the largest glass vessels in Japan. A skilled astronomer with a deep knowledge of tides, he identified Hakodate as the perfect base for shipping cargo between Japan's main island Honshu and its northern island Hokkaido. Using his own funds, Kahe invested in new port facilities in Hakodate, which at the time was a small fishing village. When the American Commodore Matthew Perry arrived in Japan in the mid-19th century, he called Hakodate one of the finest ports in the world. Soon, Hakodate joined Yokohama and Nagasaki as one of Japan's first ports used for international trade. In the late 19th century, Hakodate developed further as an international port. Ships from Great Britain, France, Russia, and other countries jostled for space. Hakodate continues to evolve. 
With the opening of the Hokkaido Shinkansen, the connection with Japan's main island will be that much closer. With so much passion and thought put into it by Kahe and other pioneers, it's no wonder that Hakodate has become such an attractive city. Please come and see for yourself. It's 11 a.m. After visiting the morning market and passing by the brick warehouses, I've arrived here. The Motomachi district is up this hill. It used to be the center of town. Wow, look at this big street with all its flagstones. Hakodate really needed broad thoroughfares, I guess. I think I'll go on up. That's a nice looking building up there on the left. I'm told it used to be the British consulate. Ah, and there's another beautiful building. Oh, wait a minute. Someone's coming out. My, what a beautiful dress. Are they having a party? That man in the black coat has a camera. Uh, hello? Hi. Uh, pardon me, is this a photo shoot? Hi. Hi. <laughs> you both look really nice. <laughs> a pre-shoot? Hi. A wedding! Hi. Congratulations! And your favorite dress? Hi. <laughs> sort of purple. <laughs> really? Wow, that's uh, quite a lot. <laughs> Are you from Hakodate? <laughs> Both of you? <laughs> so she dragged you to Hakodate from Kanagawa? <laughs> you couldn't resist her charms, eh? Proud of Hakodate. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you happiness. <laughs> it's pretty clear who's in charge, but they seem happy. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. A beautiful dress on a beautiful flagstone street. So romantic. I'm sure this will be a lifelong memory for them. <sighs> I'm almost at the top of the hill. Just a little further. Ah, the flagstones continue. The street just keeps going straight all the way to the vanishing point. This looks like a residential area. Mmm, this western style house on the right is pure white. The next house over seems purely Japanese. But then, there's a pink one that looks western on top, and Japanese below. Hmm, do these folks live here? They seem like a married couple. Uh, good morning. Are you going for a ride? Oh, work? 
Kore kara shigoto desu. You look cool. <laughs> and what a cute cat. Cotton desu. Cotton. Cotton desu. Cotton chan. Hello, cotton. You know, your house is quite intriguing. Hi. Kuchira, Hakodate shi no dento te kikenzo butsu ni shite sarete iru tatemono nan desu. Ito taisho 11 nen no tatemono nan desu. 1922? Hi. Your house is in the Japanese style, but what about next door? So this It's quite different from yours. Only the second floor Western style, huh? Interesting. It's true that all the houses look Western when viewed from below. They were built with that in mind, I guess, huh? So, where are you from, sir? Australia. Really? Why Hakodate? I wonder if Cotton is a Hakodate native. Anyway, thanks so much for talking with me. Thank you. Thank you. What a nice couple. <laughs> it seems that Hakodate is still a city that foreigners find easy to live in. Oh, check out the tourists. Huh? A fine stone gate. What could it be? Ah, stucco walls. Is it a church? I think I'll take a look. Oh, they're singing a hymn. Beautiful. Hmm, better check my guidebook. The Hakodate Orthodox Church is the oldest Russian Orthodox Church in Japan. The six bells in its belfry can be heard throughout the city when they're rung on Sunday. Gee, I wonder what they sound like. There's a priest. It looks like the service is over. Hello. Konnichiwa. Uh, pardon me, but are Hi. you... Um... I thought so. <laughs> and where are you from? Wow, so it's been more than 20 years. And how do you like living in Hakodate? I wonder if someone is in charge of ringing the bells. Hi, are you the bell ringer? Hi. I'm sorry to bother you. Well, anyway, the bells, um... Hi. Oh, thank you so much. You don't mind? Whoa, steep steps. Better watch my head. Huh. 
We've reached the top. Thank you. He's dressed for the cold. Smart man. Wow, what a view! Ah, uh, he's starting! They really resonate. Amazing. He's using both hands and his foot. Thank you. <laughs> yes, but what power. That must be tiring. I see. So there have been generations of bell ringers. That's so cool. Prayers for peace echo everywhere in Hakodate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Such a gentle priest and parishioner. Russians and Japanese praying for peace together. I guess hybrids aren't limited to houses here. Hello, Zdravchevitsha. I came to Hakodate from Russia 18 years ago. My name's Fedor. From the 1860s into the 1910s, all kinds of cutting-edge technologies and culture entered Hakodate from Russia and other countries. I'd like to show you some with the longest histories. Lots of things entered Japan for the first time through Hakodate. First made its debut near this hotel. Here it is. Hakodate was the first city in Japan to have a Christmas tree. In the mid-19th century, Russia's first consul to Japan, Yosef Goshchevich, sent an invitation to the Hakodate magistrate's office. He wrote, we'll have a tall, beautiful, decorated tree, so please bring your children. It came from Russia. I'm so proud. Here's another first for Japan. Can you guess? Voila! Steel reinforced concrete power poles still being used today. These were made using technology imported from France about 90 years ago. At that time, round wooden poles were the norm. But city designers decided to make their poles square to match the Western-style buildings. Ready for our last example? There's a replica of it preserved in this museum. Heaters like this were a necessity in the winter. 
They say that this was made based on a sketch of an English stove made by Takeda Ayasaburo, the same man who designed Goryokaku Fortress. Mmm, nice and warm. Hakodate was the first city in Japan to introduce many technologies and cultural practices from abroad. When you visit, be sure to check them out. Goodbye for now. Dostibanya. It's two in the afternoon, and I've come down by the water. So many boats, and I see big cranes in the distance. Let's see, where's my map? We looked at the hybrid houses in Motomachi, listened to the bells of peace at the church, and now we're in Bentencho. This area once flourished as a fishing and shipbuilding center. It was known as the Cradle of Hakodate. Hmm, it seems pretty quiet now. Ah, a tram stopped there on the left. I guess it runs all the way out here. Hmm, there's no one around. Was it really such a lively place? Oh, this looks like a Shinto shrine. Oh, and there's a priest. I wonder if he knows what it was like. Ah, uh, excuse me, pardon my intrusion. Huh? There's something strange on that platform. What is it? There's a ring hanging from the top. Hmm, could it be? Oh, hello. I'm wondering about the thing there. Uh, is it a... Um... It is an anchor. In a trolling net? Oh. The sea deities? The Soviet Union? Oh, wow, a machine gun as an object of worship? Interesting. Uh, so tell me, what was it like around here in the old days? Is that right? I see. So the sea deities here watched over them. Pubs and things? And how about you? Do you like to drink? <laughs> you like to tipple a little? So you have to behave yourself, huh? <laughs> well, thanks for talking with me. Goodbye. <laughs> what a fun priest. Hmm, looking around now, though, it's hard to believe this used to be an entertainment district. There's no sign of that kind of liveliness now. sign up there on the right. It says antique shop. It's one of those hybrid buildings. 
Western on top and Japanese below. Is this the shop here? Hmm, maybe that's the proprietor. Wow, look at all this stuff. Uh, hello? Hey. Sorry to bother you. Hey. Uh, I was admiring your building here. <laughs> well, thank you. It looks like it has some history. あ、ちょっと面白いな、こっから消費始めたのがね、65年前なんで、立ち手からも110年くらい経つらしいですね。112 and what's this? Oh, you pump air through it? Oh, what a lonely sound. <laughs> Thank you. A foghorn. And now it's an antique, huh? I guess not. Huh? <laughs> ah, is this his wife? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Such a refined lady. You run this shop together? <laughs> what was it like around here in the old days? <laughs> a lot livelier than now, huh? <laughs> Oh, you fished. <laughs> so you really were busy then. <laughs> mm, hard to do it alone, huh? <laughs> The two of you have sailed some rough seas together. Well, thanks for sharing. Thank you. Be well. Hmm. They must have done all kinds of things to make ends meet back then. Every day must have taken all their energy. I hope they can take it easy and enjoy the fruit of all that labor now. Oh, the flags are fluttering. The wind's picked up again. What's this? What are they wearing? Where are all these ladies going? Excuse me. Uh, hello. Are you all going to a ladies' meeting of some kind? Practice? What kind of dance? <laughs> what? <laughs> Granny Yosakoi? <laughs> well, I don't see a single old lady here. <laughs> um, 
Would it be all right if I watched? Thank you. I thought Yosakoi was a dance from Shikoku in Western Japan. Ah, here's the practice space. Oh, thank you. Oh, such a warm welcome. The one on the left must be the teacher. Oh, they're starting. Hey, guitars? <laughs> huh? What the? Isn't that the Hokkaido folk song, Soran Bushi? But they're dancing Yosakoi. <laughs> they're really getting into it. I have no idea what you just did, but it's wonderful. No, not at all. You're also lively. Um, might I ask your ages? Seventy <laughs> nine? So energetic. <laughs> <laughs> A novice, huh? <laughs> what led you to start this group? Is that so? But maybe it made you younger? And how young has it made you? <laughs> that was so much fun. Thank you. Goodbye. They sure are a happy bunch. Hmm. It looks like Bentencho, the cradle of Hakodate, is still full of life. Okay, I've made it to the fishing harbor. And just around the corner... There it is, Mount Hakodate. And a few scattered fishing boats. like they're getting ready to go out. Are they father and son? Hello. Uh, what will you be fishing for? Squid, huh? Like those I saw at the morning market. Oh, looks like they're heading out. I hope they get a good catch. That's a long time. Off they go into the sunset. Good luck. Very cool. Were you a fisherman too? How many years? Wow, a long career. But fishing till dawn must be hard work. Yes. Two months? 
あそこまで行くんだからあのー、あのなんてミッドウェアとかミッドウェイアウトデインザミッドウェイザオーシャンだ,だいたいねあの150トンの船でね番宣してくるとね一番早く入れば紫がつぼ抜きでねあのあれだよだいたい2億5000万ぐらい。Really? 一回でね。2.2 million US dollars? You could build yourself a palace with that. <笑>あんたじゃないかね。<笑> no, I guess not. 頑張ってください。Uh, thank you. はい。You too. Wow, two months. All the way to Midway and back. That must be tough. Fishermen survive rough seas to harvest the wealth of the ocean. All that delicious seafood helped to build Hakodate. Now, at the end of the day, it's finally time to climb that mountain. Phew! Wow! Look at all the people. Oh, what a view! Hakodate. I met so many friendly people here. The man with the rabbits, the priest with the peace bells, <laughs> the ladies dancing yosakoi. Each one of them has witnessed changes in the city and contributed to Hakodate's vibrant culture. Shine on, Hakodate. Shine on. <laughs>